Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I have the Mandalorian Starfighter. This set is 544 pieces, it is ages 9 and up, and it is, and set number is 75316. This set comes with three minifigures and the Mandalorian Starfighter. Let's start off with the minifigures, because we, we have a good, a very good selection of minifigures uh, for this set. We have Bo-Katan Kreese, we have a Mandalorian Loyalist, and Gar Saxon. Let's start with, I think, the coolest uh, out of the three. They're all pretty cool. Uh, let's start with Gar Saxon. He is, he has a lot of detail on his armor. Like, it's really cool. But yeah, he's got uh, horns on his helmet, because uh, in Star Wars The Clone Wars, Season 7, uh, Season 7, Episode 9, titled Old Friends Not Forgotten, the Siege of Mandalore started. And it was, it was a good few episodes, Episode 9 to 12, it was pretty, it was very good. And Gar Saxon serves... A Sith Lord, well, a Sith, uh, named Darth Maul, which I have right here. This is Darth Maul. Yeah, he's got, he's got a lot of detail. He, he's not in the set, but, yeah, that's Darth Maul. And, uh, yeah, that arc of the Clone Wars, the Siege of Mandalore, that was really cool. So yeah, this is Gar Saxon. He served Maul in the Clone Wars, and when the Empire came, he served the Empire, and he then died. <laughs> he he died to uh what's her name, Ursa Wren, uh Sabine Wren's mother. Next we have Bo-Katan Kreese from uh, Clan from C Clan Kreese, Bo-Katan. Uh, in the Clone Wars, was part of a Mandalorian group called the Death Watch, and they were pretty much like, they they were really in, in, enthusiastic about chaos and battle, pretty much violence and such, because uh, that's how Mandalorians were back in the old days of like Mandalorians. Uh. There was a huge war between the Jedi and the Mandalorians. And, yeah. And the Death Watch are like, yeah, we, we're going back to the old days of, like, pretty much us Mandalorians. When you hear the word Mandalorian, you think, like, a skilled fighter, good at war, good at violence, battle, and such. That's pretty much a Mandalorian. And bo in the Clone Wars, Death Watch was trying to take over the city of Sundari on Mandalore. And during the time, their ruler, their leader, uh, Satine Kreese, which is bo sister. We have bo here. She, she helped uh, liberate Mandalore and the city of Sundari. From Maul and Gar Saxon in the Clone Wars. In that same arc of the Clone Wars, which is the Siege of Mandalore. And yeah, and bo has also been seen in many other shows. Like the Clone Wars, uh, Star Wars Rebels, Star Wars The Mandalorian. Uh... I was going to say the Book of Boba Fett, but no, she was not in the Book of Boba Fett. I don't know she was not. But yeah, she's been in many, she's been seen a lot. So yeah. Moving on. Uh, She's got, <laughs> she's got really good printing on the armor. It's very detailed. Of course, all three of them have the same jet pack. And yeah. And then underneath the helmet, we have a two-sided face. She's angry. And she's happy. And it also comes with a hairpiece. Which in a newer sense. A new season of The Mandalorian came out. Season 3. Episode 3. Or no. Episode 2. 
we saw a droid. It, I'm not going to review too much because I don't want to spoil. But we saw a droid. And we're getting that set. Uh, image here of the new bo minifigure. And yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Well, yeah, Bogdan. We're also rumored or seen to get a new hairpiece that looks more like it to Bogdan, which actually is like it's very nice. So yeah, and her Bogdan's helmet is a night owl, and uh, let me explain a bit of the night owl. So uh, during the Clone Wars of the Death Watch, uh, they finally took over Mandalore. Uh, Darth Maul and Pre Vizsla, which was the leader of Death Watch, they battled for the Dark Saber and leadership of the uh, the Death Watch. And spoilers, uh, Darth Maul won, and then he and his Mandalorian and Death Watch uh, later started to rule Mandalore more. And this is and the and Death Watch painted their armor red, because Darth Maul is red, and such, yeah. And, yeah. And, uh, when bo left, bo left with a few other members of the Death Watch, and uh, they made their own Mandalorian group called the Night Owls, and they painted their helmets, which, as you can see, bo helmet is a Night Owl. And the final minifigure, which it's supposed to have a a blank face. Yeah, it's supposed to have a blank face, which I. Oh yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. The minifigure does not come with a face. Yes, you saw a face, but I put that there. I forgot it was there. To be honest, but yeah, minifigure comes with no face. I didn't even show Garth Saxon's face. I don't think I did. This was oh come on. This is what he looks like underneath the helmet. So yeah. He's only got one side of face. This guy, no face. Because we don't know who he is. But pretty cool printing, pretty cool armor, pretty cool helmet too. And yeah. And bo is actually have, supposed to have two pistols. But that's okay. Moving on to the actual fighter. Now we have seen this fighter... A good amount in Star Wars. I'll explain that first and then I'll talk about the actual fighter. Okay, we've seen this fighter in The Mandalorian, in Star Wars Rebels, and in The Clone Wars. And we've seen this fighter multiple times in The Clone Wars. I think it was like season 3 or season... Season 2 or 3, I think, is when we saw this fighter. But I have... I have some notes of times we've actually seen this fighter. We saw this fighter in The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 16, titled The Rescue. Of when, uh, so, okay, if you don't want to, uh, I know Mando Season 2 has been out, but if you don't want to hear that episode, like the final season of, or the final episode of Season 2, uh, just skip ahead a bit, okay. So, Baby Yoda Grogu got captured, got taken away. Mando and Boba Fett went to bo and a couple of her Mandalorians and are like, hey, we need your help, pretty much. And, yeah, that's when we see that fighter, which is right there. And, yeah, we've also seen this fighter, or a variant of the fighter, in Star Wars Rebels Season 2, Episode 13, The Protector of Concorn Dawn. And yeah, it's a it's a different variation. It's not like this exact one. But it is a variation of the Mandalorian Starfighter. And we've also seen this fighter in the Clone Wars season seven, episode nine, Old Friends Not Forgotten. So yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> that's what I have written down here. And yeah. Moving on to the actual fighter. In, uh, this is it in landed, landed mode. Yeah, this one, it's, 
on land. <laughs> it's yeah, I forget the word, but yeah, when it's about to fly up, it can put its wings down and look like this. So I'm just gonna yeah. It is a it's a big fighter. I don't know how it's 500 pieces, but yeah, we have a few play features on this set. Uh, the winds are able to fold up and down, obviously. But the middle, if you haven't seen the spider in the show, or like whenever we have seen it, the the winds can spin, and the cockpit also spins. Which it, I think that's actually pretty cool. It has some uh, stud shooters, which obviously stud shooters you click. And it shoots out the stud. And yeah. And then uh, you can put bo and the Mandalorian Loyalist in there. But you would have to first take off the jetpacks. Which I shall do. Yeah, because the space in the fighter, it's not, it can't hold both of them with their Jipex on. Actually, wait. Oh, it can. Oh, never mind. Okay, you can take off their Jipex or keep them on, but I check them off. Because why not? So yeah, we got Bogotan, Mandalorian, Loyalist. Put them back there. And boom. And boom. There we go. They're in there. So yeah, that's that's about it. It's a Mandalorian fighter. I think it's pretty cool. I do not... I know in my other reviews, my two other reviews, I or my on Mandos and one fighter, I said the price. I actually don't know the price of this set in Canada, so, yeah, uh, whatever the price is in Canada, I'll put it right here on screen, so yeah, uh, yeah, see you guys later.